Hey everybody, welcome to a retro review. Today we're taking a look at a fantastic series of figures that were released in the late 80s, uh, kind of, well, mid to late 80s. Uh, slowly deteriorated as you hit the 90s and they started ended up in places like Woolworths for next to nothing. It's the series of Supernaturals and today we are taking a look at the Ghost Finder. They're uh, basically the vehicle of the good guys. Uh, these are made by Tonka, and they utilised the technology of holograms. It was the big rage, uh, late 80s, uh, with visionaries and uh, supernaturals tagged on, and yes, they included holograms on their figures and on the vehicles. Just taking a look at the side of the box, you can see Lionheart there. Uh, basically this says that uh, you can fit a standard figure and one of the ghostlings all on the vehicle and it has a pop-up rotating launcher which also glues in the dark and it's got the ram on the front there flipping around the box taking a look at the back of the box it just says here basically glow in the dark hubcaps and you've got these features as mentioned on the front you also got a holographic grill uh, which is uh, yeah they kind of overkilled the holograms a little bit didn't they and we got three supernatural points for this with our proof of purchase. Nice. There was a uh, comic. Uh, I've got a few of the comics lying around here somewhere. Um, they were a good read. They were. Um, there wasn't a great deal of uh, colour going into the comics. Basically, just inked drawings. And um, but they were good. You know, for the time, they were. They were around the same sort of time as the mask comics. And I think I've got a couple of the. Uh, the crossover ones as well, but they've kind of used stories from both in the uh, in them. So, without further ado, let's take a look at the vehicle out of the box. So, out of the box, it is secured by cardboard, which you can just take off. And here it is, out of the box. What a lovely little piece of kit. See if I can get the uh, hologram working. <laughs> oh, God, these... See, you can see the the headlights there, if I can catch them in the light. Look at that. Oh, toys used to be really, really, really fun. Oh, what an amazing piece of kit. Um, comes with a really, really great instruction manual. Press the button. And press the button. <laughs> Toys used to be a lot more simplistic in the day, didn't they? I think if, if I can just add a little bit more light to this, see if we can get that hologram a bit better. Nah, it's um, kind of difficult to catch on camera, but you, you can kind of see it moving there. There's ghosts and ghouls about to get hit by the bumper. Right, for the uh, purpose of this review, I'm going to try and use uh, a vampire here and Lionheart, because I think they're the ones used on the box art. It's uh, hard to tell because the box art's a little faded. Although I always thought Vampire was a bad ghostling, but pretty sure they're the ones used. Um, as you can see, look at that. I'm a goodie. I'm a beast. I'm a goodie. I'm a beast. Um, they've got the chest plate off. For the video uh, for the um, box art so, so you can see him in his full beast mode there and I did love these I mean they even came with holographic shields Rawr. yeah they've got, and they've got him standing on the uh, on the box as he's kind of just standing in here because there is no way of getting him to sit in the vehicle because the doors don't open they're just in a fixed position so he's just got to kind of stand in there with his sword aloft, like so. <laughs> and then you've got your, your ghostlings, which, uh, there you go, look, there's ghostlings. They, all the ghostlings were basically just a outer shell, like so. And uh, kind of a cloth just goes over the top, uh, rubbery kind of plastic. And he just stands, they stand in the bonnet, like so. Okay, it's not an amazing setup, <laughs> but 
I don't know, it, it kind of works, doesn't it? It's, it's a really good display piece. And I could see kids really chucking this thing around and putting it through its paces in the day because this is really, really robust. I mean, Tonka were renowned for making like their remote control cars and uh, just basically good, solid, playable cars in general. So to get the vehicles from, that's a really, really good thing. Let's take a look at the weapons. There's a small button on the back here. You should pull that and this will allow you to raise the gun up to the appropriate height. Uh, you've then got a button on the back there, so you can just uh, push, pull, way! Not a bad little pace to that, is there? And of course, these weapons you won't be able to see because it's too lit, but the eagle is glow in the dark. There. There we go, glow in the dark, that does. Wow, that is a selling point, isn't it? <laughs> Also have this RAM on the front. To activate that, you've got to press down on the machine gun end. That's it. Spring loaded. Um, yeah, that pretty much sums up the uh, weaponry on this guy. It's a really nice piece. Uh, I've got the uh, Bat Bopper and the, uh, the Tomb of Doom to go with these. I think... All bar the two dragons, I have the complete series of figures. So uh, if you want any more of these figures looked at, then uh, just shoot me a message on here. Um, and let's just see uh, if this actually glows in the dark. Let's turn all the lights out and see what happens. Okay, it's really dark. And you can just about kind of see it glowing in the dark. You can actually probably see their weapons more. <laughs> ah, well that was an epic fail. Anyway guys, thanks for taking a step back into my wonder years and taking a look at the sort of things I used to play with as a kid. Until next time, from me and the heroic warriors of Supernatural, goodbye.